Hey guys, Tony Kami here. Welcome to the first of my Easy App series. The aim of this series is to help you make your very first apps with ease. In this video, I'll show you how to set up user authentication for your app. And here's a demo of what we plan to achieve. So the user will be able to register. Don't you bother sending an email to that, guys, because that's not my actual email. You can enter their password and enter their full name. And when they hit register, their data will be saved in our very own database here. I'll show you guys how to set that all up. You can see Tony Kami at example.com. Now when they log in, if they enter the wrong password, it will give them an error. And if they enter the right password, there their email will be retrieved from the server. And also something else to point out, if you try to register with the same email, you get a nice error there saying that the email was taken. Now, just to give you guys an overview of the architecture, we're gonna have our users on this end. Our users can perform a login or register. Now, when they log in or register, that request will be sent over to our server which will then handle the um, request. So if it's a login request, our login handler will handle it. And if it's a register request, our register handler will handle it. And now what our server will do is it's gonna to talk to our database, which is gonna be a MongoDB database, which I'll tell you guys about later. And that's gonna give us the appropriate response. And then the login handler will send the response back to the user who performed the request. Now I've written most of the server side code for you guys. So all you guys will need to do is just download this. So now just head over to GitHub I've made the link available for you guys in the description and just hit clone or download and then just download a zip of that. So once that's all downloaded, you should see these three folders here. Now the Android, I haven't implemented that yet. I'm gonna do that maybe in the next week. But as you can see, there's gonna be the server folder which will have our server side code and the iOS folder which is gonna have some code I've written that'll help us set the iOS up. Now there's a few things you have to change in the server code I've written. So open that up with whatever IDE you like to use. I'm using WebStorm and I would advise you guys to do the same. So as you can see, I've written a to-do here on the app.js file, which is in the root directory. And what it says is you should change the URL to your MongoDB database. So how do I get that? I'll show you how to get that. Um, so I'm using MLab. MLab is actually uh, free. It allows you to make a free database that holds up to 500 megabytes. So if you just make an account with that, all you then have to do next is create a database user. So give your database user a username and password. And then you can see here, it says, tells you how to connect. So if you copy this and you paste this here, all you have to then do is change this to your database user that you just created, change this to your database password and everything should be set up properly. Now to run your your um, your server, just write node app.js and that's it. Listen on port 4000, that shows you it's working. Oh, I forgot to say, if you don't have Node.js, it's very easy to set up. Just go to the web and um, Google search Node.js and just download it for whatever um, platform you're using. That's how easy it is and everything should be set up. So now, our server is up and running and it's listening on port 4000. Now time to make the app and connect to it. Now head over to Xcode and create a new project. So we want a single view app and just name it whatever you want to name it. So let's just call this uh, easy app login and change the organization name. If you have a team, you can select that. But yeah, the defaults are good enough for us right now. And then save this wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it in my desktop done that's it our app our project is set up so now all you have to do is open the storyboard let's just design how this is going to look um search for navigation controller on the right just drag that in now we don't want this anymore so just drag this this arrow basically means what um what view is going to show first when the app is running so now we just need to get rid of this and we don't want this as the root view controller. So drag in another view controller. 
this is going to be the page that shows the options for login and register so we want this to be the root view controller root view controller basically means this is the first first view controller that shows and we can give you a nice title and just call it login register ah, cool so now we need to drag in two buttons these buttons are what's going to show the correct pages for us so the first button let's call this login and we want to set up the constraints so it looks properly for us so just drag that to the left and then drag that to the right and to the top now to set up the constraints you just open this and select that 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 means it has to always be this amount of distances to the left right and top edges so if you constrain that you see it looks like that and now we create another button for register And now we do the same thing, but we want to constrain it to the bottom now. So same thing, bottom, left, right, and that's it. Now we want them to both touch each other in the center right here. So the best way to do that is just um, first drag this one here and say that they always have to be the same size, which is equal height. Then next, drag this right next to each other and then say that you want them to always have a vertical spacing. So now it tells you that they're not showing properly. If you just show them properly, you will see now that it's showing them here. So now all we have to do is set a background color for that just to make it look nicer. And change the text to white. And I want the text to be bigger actually. So let's just take that to, I don't know, 25, maybe 30. Cool, we do the same here, take this to 30, change the color to white. You guys can make your page look however you want. This is how I like mine to look. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but you know, it works. So yeah, now we have this set up. We now actually need to create the pages for login and register. So let's start with the login page. It's pretty simple. All we have to do is drag this button, press control, and drag that and then select show. That means basically tapping this button will show this view controller. So then now we have to put the fields. Let's drag in a field. This field will be used for username. And we need to constrain this again, just like before to the top, left, right. And then we drag in another field. This will be used for the password. Again, very repetitive stuff, left, right, top. And finally, we drag our button in. And again, constraint to the top, left, right. Now, just to add the current, the correct placeholder, so we want email, so that's the, make that the placeholder. Also, the content type, we should set that to email, so it just looks nice when people are entering their email. And that looks nice. So the same thing for password. Make it secure text entry so it doesn't show their password when they're entering it and then select the type as password. Finally, for the button, let's just make that a login button. So that's that page set up for us. Now we have to create a view controller for registration. So it's just pretty much the same thing. Now we want to connect the register button to it. We need to drag in three text field, one for the email, password, and the name. So let's just set up the constraints for these right here. I'm just gonna speed this up because you guys have already seen how I do it. Okay, now that looks nice. We can run the application and just see that all the buttons are working and everything looks how, as it should. So the app runs. I mean, there's our beautiful page. And um, if we hit login, you see it takes us to the login page where we can enter our email and password. And if you hit register, it takes us there. So everything is looking nice. Now we just need to write the logic for these views and the buttons and everything else.
So now head back over to Xcode. Now what you need to do is go to this view controller class that was generated for you. And what we want to do actually is delete everything in here. And we're gonna write it again. So first we need to import UI kit. That's all we need. And we need to create a class for the login view controller. So this is what's gonna handle everything in the login page and that inherits from view controller. And we need to create the same thing for the register view controller. And this is gonna handle everything for registration. So now what we want is when the user hits the login or register button, we wanna collect everything in the fields and send that over to the server. So what we need to do is connect these fields to the class we just created. So if you hit this, I don't know what it's called, with these two circle buttons right here, you can actually start connecting it. So this is for the login page. So hold control and drag that over. So we wanna call this the email field and hold password, drag that over, password field. And now we want it that when they hit login, we can perform whatever action we want. So you can drag that over, change the outlet to action. Yeah, and it should be touch up inside and then just call it login. Uh, login tapped. So now whatever is in here is gonna happen when the login is tapped. So we need to do something, the same thing for the register view controller. Now we can close that and actually go into the view controller because we don't we no longer need these pages. Now I've actually created a framework that you guys can use that'll make everything a lot faster. And to use that, just right click on the root directory and go to add files and it should be in the in what you downloaded from GitHub. So just find that. So head over to iOS in that easy app iOS, select this and then just add that. Now this should import everything you need to set this up. Now what we first need to do is set the right domain. So we need to point the app to this server running right here. So to do that, just write easy app request dot request domain. And now to get the domain of your server, what you need to do if you're on a Mac, which you will be, is go to um, open network preferences. And in there you should see the IP address of whatever you're using. So I'll just copy mine over right there and then next go to the view controller and we need to set up what happens when the user selects um, a login button so just write easy app request dot, dot login so as i said i've made this a very easy for you guys so we need to get what's in the email field so email field dot text password field dot text unwrap that and if you double click on this we can make this response now there. So what happens is when the user taps the login, we basically perform a request to our server running right here, and then it gives us a response. And that response will basically hold the name of the user if they logged in or hold an error if the password and email were not correct. So we need to do the something similar for register. There. So we have login and register set up. So we just have to basically show the user uh, a dialogue if they logged in or not. So what you have to do is write dispatch queue domain. And the reason we have to do this is because when you hit, when um, the login request happens, that happens in the background thread. And now for us to show something to the user, we need to go back to the main thread and show whatever, and write whatever we want on the main thread. So that's why we need to use this dispatch queue main.async. So copy that for the register and the login. Now, if there's a response, that means the response is not equals to nil, and the response does not have an error, So everything in here is if the user logs in successfully. So what we can do is show them an alert controller and I don't know, maybe just write a nice message saying welcome and then maybe hi. And the response is actually also gonna have their name so we can do something like this, name. So this all happens if they're logged in and we want this to be a alert. 
And now just to show that to the user, self.present alert, we want this to be an animated and we don't want anything to happen when the alert is shown. So this is what happens when the user logs in successfully. Now, if the user doesn't log in successfully, so if there's something wrong, we should just show them an alert again, but we, this time we wanna make the title error and then just say wrong password or email. That's nice. One more thing, these needs are buttons, so the welcome should have a thank you button or else the user isn't gonna be able to dismiss it. So you like, I want the button to just say thank you. The style should just be the uh, a default style and the handler should be nil. And for the incorrect login detail, we want it, the style to be cancel and we want it to just say something like try again. So just an overview, if the user logs in successfully, that means there's no error in the response. We show them an alert saying welcome with their name there. And if it's not successful, we show them an error message and then tell them to try again. So similar thing for the registration. So if there's no error, we don't want to show them an alert. We can pop, we can pop the view controller. That means just basically close this current view controller and that'll take us back to the previous page. So we can also dismiss it there. And if there is an error, again, we can copy this and just tell the user that email is taken. Try again. So that should be it. Everything should be working right now if I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, that looks like it. That's it. So all we have to do is just run our app. And don't forget your server has to be running for everything to work successfully. And now we can test it. So go to register. Uh, let's just enter the same email that I used at the start. Email taken. So now we can use a real email. I don't know, hello at example.com. As you can see, it pops us back. And now if I, hello at example.com, see, it logs us in. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to be making more in this easy app series and you guys just leave a suggestion below of what you want me to make next. Thanks.